Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will show you a really innovative mechanism to show, hide, modify dialogues synchronously from V model. You can think about suspend dialogue like things. So let's get started. Let me just create a new project. I will just clean up the default UI. And we will upgrade the Jetpack Compose version as well. I will create a new page here. Let me quickly create a dialogue first. So let's see how our dialogue looks like first. Yes, pretty good. So let's uh, move with it so first of all i will show you how we normally control dialogues from view model so let me create a view model first So what normally we do is we just create a new mutable state of boolean there are some other options as well like UI state UI event uh, lots of things are there but I will show you the uh, the simplest possible things we do normally to control dialogue so we will 
proceed with this approach so let me take the view model to use this uh, view model syntax we have to uh, include a dependency and the dependency is android x navigation compose this is also needed anyway let's use this let me put a button here to show the dialog so guys this is the simplest possible mechanism we normally use to control the dialog from view model that means so height uh, something like that but uh, right now i am going to show you a innovative mechanism to control the dialog so uh, let's see so i will keep this dialog here and we'll just copy it so that we can compare the mechanisms uh, actually the mechanism includes a very small class uh, let me create a new file and i will paste it there so guys uh, this is the class that will control or help us to achieve the mechanism so let's see how we can do this so basically we have to create a variable in the view model
सो लेट मी शो यू हाउ वी कैन शो द डायलॉग यू कैन सी दिस इज ए सस्पेंड फंक्शन सो वी विल कॉल दिस इन व्यू मॉडल स्कोप को रूटीन so this is the way to show the dialog and also you will get the result here directly in the same line so you are just controlling the dialog synchronously let's check this so you can see you get the result positive then negative then dismiss again the dismiss so this way you can control that means show and get the result very easily and uh, this is very convenient way to control the dialog otherwise you have to back and forth lots of variables and functions so you can see uh, we have to maintain this mutable state of variable then a show dialog function dismiss dialog on positive on negative so lots of things so instead of doing uh, this type of things we are just creating one variable of dialogger and uh, that's all and you will control each and everything so this is the magic or innovative way to control the dialog and also i will show you another extended magic here suppose uh, when you are cl uh, clicking the negative you don't want to uh, close the dialog or you want to modify the dialog and also you want to do something else as well so let me show you how you can do this so just clear the parenthesis and open the braces so here if i put true then the uh, overall mechanism will go same as before but i put false let's see see it's not closing because here it is false so right now what i will do is i will return false when uh, negative button will be clicked so if it equals to equals to negative then false else true so i think we can optimize it but let's keep it see it's closing when we are clicking the positive but it's not closing when we are clicking negative so this way we can control the show or hide things and also we can do uh, lots more things let me show you so i will create a new variable
I will replace the text here. And what I will do is whenever the negative button will be clicked, I will change the text of the negative button. So So you can see I am just modifying the negative button text. So this way you can do almost anything which you can imagine. That means showing the dialogue, hiding the dialogue, modifying the dialogue in the runtime from this mechanism or by this mechanism. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.